In the last few months, the development of generative AI for both text and image has been phenomenal. One of the most outstanding models out there is the ChatGPT, and I've been using since its release. Many people have integrated ChatGPT into their lives as an AI assistant and have seen significant improvements on to their productivity. I use ChatGPT generally for writing emails or writing essays or writing small code snippets, but I want to use it in larger tasks like developing a computer game. In this video, I will try to push ChatGPT to make a Flappy Bird game from scratch. During making this video, I learned so many valuable lessons and I think you need to learn them as well. You will not only use them in your programming tasks, but in all other prompts as well. So let's get started in the video. Okay, let's start with what features we want. If you don't know about the Flappy Bird game, there are basically two entities. The first one is the bird the entity you control. The second one is the pipes. Pipes are coming towards the bird and you try not to hit uh, the bird into the pipes and you need to go as further as you can. If the bird collides into the pipes, the game is actually over and you need to start from the beginning. The further you go, you get more points. So the features are basically bird can fly and go down with the gravity. Uh, pipes are randomly generated and will have a gap in between them. Uh, birds will be able to pass through the pipes and collide if hit. Uh, it, and at the start of the game, you should see a prompt saying uh, press space uh, to start the game. And if a bird hits somewhere, the player score should be visible on the screen and player should restart the game. These are basically the features of the game that we try to build. It covers the Flappy Bird game as a product. I aimed a little bit higher for this project for ChatGPT to do, and let's see how it does. Also to quickly mention, I'm using Python during these experiments, and I want ChatGPT to develop a Python script. It developed actually a script that is made of Pygame, so I stuck with that library. And I don't have the paid subscription to ChatGPT currently, and I'm using the ChatGPT 3.5, which uh, it's available in the free version. Starting out this project, I just want to test ChatGPT with a very simple command. I want to make a Flappy Bird game in Python, can you write a script for me? ChatGPT gave me a code in seconds, but it was a mess and included many bugs. The game window didn't even load it, and when I asked ChatGPT to fix the bugs, it was not able to fix the bugs, and we kind of stuck at this point in this question. I expect that the first approach wouldn't work because the question is like very simple and there are no details in it. So in my second approach, I tried to explain the stuff a little bit uh, in detail and uh, ask the question a little bit more structurally. I explained there is a bird and there are pipes and the further you go without hitting the pipes, you get more points, etc. This time, ChatGPT returned a code that actually runs and there is a window visible. However, there is no bird. There is just game over written on the screen. Game is not restarting and no function is actually available. It was just a mess again. It was like unmatching puzzle pieces put together uh, in the code. I tried to fix it again with asking questions to ChatGPT, but it didn't work actually. At this point, I was disappointed with ChatGPT and I already spent an hour trying to fix the bugs that was introduced in the code. Uh, no useful response actually and I didn't feel like continuing to this project and left the project there for the moment. In a short amount of time I realized that ChatGPT might be okay and the problem is me. I'm not asking the questions correctly. This time I tried to go more systematically and ask questions uh, a little bit more detailed and uh, constructive. My objective is going feature by feature, like doing the most viable product or the MVP. First up, I start making the bird functional. The bird should drop with the gravity and fly on the user input and should be located on the uh, left middle of the screen, etc. And it magically worked. ChatGPT produced a code that has the bird entity as a rectangle. It goes down with the gravity, and when I hit spacebar, it goes up and then 
goes with the gravity uh, again and again. Screen was a bit large, but uh, I didn't actually mention the screen size to ChatGPT, so it was actually okay. And there is a background image as well, uh, since I asked in the question. I got super excited at this point and continued with the uh, implementing of the pipes. Like last time, I tried to explain everything feature by feature. I explained that the pipes are randomly generated, they are in the same vertical and there is a gap in between them and they are always coming into the screen from the right hand side of the screen. Bird could hit the pipes and bird should go in between the gap etc etc. It was again super exciting and ChatGPT produced the code that does exactly what I asked it to do. I haven't even changed anything in the code except the screen dimensions and that's actually an okay thing to change. At this point in the development, game mechanics has already been done and I've been continuing with the game logic. Game logic includes the scoring system or restarting system or the game over screen and all the other things uh, except the game mechanics. Unfortunately, we hit another wall in here. I ask the same way I did before, but ChiChiPT didn't produce the code that I'm actually uh, wanting it to. It sometimes gave me entirely a new code that I haven't even seen before. Of course, it didn't work. Or it starts giving me the code perfectly, but stopped for no reason. Didn't even wrote the whole thing. I just asked to continue, but it just start giving me something else or just starts to write the code uh, from the beginning and it again stops at some point so it kind of didn't work. I couldn't get a complete answer that works and adds these features into the code. Maybe Plus members or the newer ChatGPT versions would not have this issue but I currently had and I need to find the solution. And the solution uh, might be beneficial for other ChatGPT versions as well because more output you got the more uh, ChatGPT could confuse itself, uh, I believe. The thing changed everything for me in this project is asking ChatGPT to only give the parts that I need to change. Especially ask, don't include all the code, just include the parts I needed to change. If you ask like me, ChatGPT will give you a list of items that you need to change with the code snippets attached. This makes the whole experience better and you should try out your own in your own experiments. Using this technique, I asked ChatGPT to again implement the game logic with the features I want and it gave me the exactly the code particles that I need to change and that's what I did. I only placed the extra code particles into the code uh, that ChatGPT actually sent me to place. And after this point, game logic is done. Game is playable now with the game over screen and restarting mechanism, scoring system, etc. Only missing part at this point is replacing the bird and pipes with uh, original PNG images and that's exactly what I asked ChatGPT to do. Again, I asked only to give me the codes that I need to change and it just gave it to me. I just completed those and the Flappy Bird game is actually at this point ready and all the features we defined in the project description has already been done and it was just amazing how ChatGPT almost its own was able to complete this project. It's just really crazy. Making this project was a whole lot of fun and exciting to see uh, generative models performance on uh, complicated tasks. I learned that prompt engineering carries a huge role making most out of these models. If something you expect didn't work on this uh, text or image based generative models, uh, ask in a different way or ask your friends how they do it or ask online and try to experiment with it and you will learn so much. Altogether, we're gonna grow our prompt skills and um, in future I believe this uh, generative models will out there and we need to get as much from them as possible. Better to start practicing now than later. Hope you find this video helpful. If you want to hear more from me, this is my latest video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Uh, see you guys soon.